Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm enjoying the cool 97 degree Texas heat in order to bring to you guys an interesting point. Somebody sent me a letter from uh, Steris that they had received back in February stating that Steris was currently out of parts and that they'd continue to maintain equipment as much as they could, but they would not be producing regular scheduled PMs because they don't have the parts to back that up. That's interesting. An OEM doesn't have parts and all they got to do is generate a letter and now they're magically excused from doing the PMs on their critical equipment. And these are on sterilizers. Uh, I, if I remember right, this person said that the devices in question were system one E's. Just kind of curious. He says that he still had them due since February and that letter is what they sent out in order to excuse them from the PMs. I'm just curious about that. Does it does it really work that way? I didn't think it did. Um, because if something's under contract and you have a certain number of PMs due, well, that means that you are not getting your money's worth. Now, I would understand it if, let's say, you didn't have them under contract. Kind of curious. So anyway, guys, you, you all should be well aware of my stance on right to repair and also a more open economy and open market. And that includes third-party part manufacturers. If there are PM parts, then by all means, third parties should be allowed to uh, take the steps necessary to increase the diversity in our supply chain. I mean, because if there's one thing that I've definitely noticed is whenever an OEM gets hung up on supply chain issues, that's it. They just say, oh, oh well, that's all we can do. And we're expected to live with that. I am definitely for a more open economy and I highly encourage companies like RPI who's out there doing uh, third party parts and doing it well, doing it perhaps better than the OEMs themselves. It's really amazing. And I am a huge supporter of, of third parties developing their own parts, testing their own parts with quality control and then releasing those parts for the open market because you put all your eggs in one basket and what you're gonna get is supply chain issues. And when you have supply and demand issues like that, that's when prices are supposed to change, but why are prices not changing? It's, it's, it's amazing. And it's amazing that an OEM could get an out on doing their PMs on critical equipment like sterilizers just because they just ran out of parts. Huh, if anything, I mean, if, if a company like RPI would go out there and produce parts for these systems, you should be able to schedule a third party to do those PMs. But as we found out, many manufacturers don't like playing well with other companies. And because of that, um, they're putting in software restrictions, key codes, all sorts of other garbage that would prohibit third parties from maintaining the equipment. And now, a lot of companies are putting in some sort of limitating factors into uh, the consumables. So it could be an RFID chip, it could be uh, an actual chip that's got a serial number embedded in it. Vendors are doing everything they can to maintain control of the supply. So you know they can also control the demand. And it's not fair, it's definitely not fair. So I'm just curious what you guys think. Do you guys, any of you other ones, have letters from OEMs that excuse them from doing PMs because there's supply chain shortages? Because right now, I thought the supply chain was pretty much back on track. Hmm, kind of curious. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just curious on this issue. It did happen and it is happening. I just don't think they should be given the free pass. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching, guys.